And there you go. And here's Daddy. Hey, it's Jason from East Coast Upcyclers. We're here in our pool room, and uh, we are finally finished the first Sensational Salvage Challenge. Originally, uh, the boys and I went to Habitat, and uh, we got some stuff to make a birdhouse. We realized we do not like birds. Right, guys? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. And instead, we are going to make a pool cue holder. Yep. So I'm going to take you over here and, and show you what we did. Um, all right. So the first thing about this challenge is you can only spend 15 bucks. You had to shop at Habitat for Humanity, and you had to incorporate a kitchen utensil. We did all of that. Um, this door itself, I got it for five bucks off of Craigslist, and the reason was is because the glass was blown out. So instead, what I did is I took some beadboard and uh, I wedged a, a, a piece of plywood in behind it and then put the beadboard in the middle. And uh, I think we'll, we'll just start from the top here. So up top, I have an old piece of trim and I, I painted it with the same gray and then I sanded it and then I stained it and I got that really old, funky, distressed look. Uh, going down a little bit, I just got a shelf here, I routed it and did the same thing I did up top. And uh, looking down at the door itself, literally I just painted it with this gray and then took the same sandpaper to it. It was 220 grit. Um, my favorite part about this whole thing is the banjo clock. I got this thing for five bucks at the Westminster Antique Mall, and it was in pretty rough shape. So again, I just sand, I just uh, sanded it and stained it, and of course, I stuck my business card on there. Um, going down, I incorporated a corkscrew that's holding my triangle in, and then uh, one of the coolest things is you, you have some old utensils over here that I just bent and uh, that's what's holding my, my pull cues in. Uh, if you can just kind of check out the whole thing, um, it's got a nice little uh, bench seat here that holds the, the pull cues. And um, anyway, I had a lot of fun making this. I think this is gonna stay in our basement for a long time, and I'm looking forward to see what the other Sensational Salvage Challengers are doing. For more awesome projects like this, you can visit us at www.eastcoastupcyclers.com. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.